Good morning, friends. We are going to do sheet pan pancakes today. A whole bunch. Well, what I'm gonna do is I am home this weekend. Home alone with five kids ages 10 and under. Been joking, just like the good old days, Travis and the older teens are out of town for three days. And so while they've been gone, since little kids love to, you know, mix and roll and bake, we've been working on getting some different recipes done for the freezer like yesterday i worked on just while we played and watched toy story hey baby and did those fun na another nana let me get benjamin another nana refill this morning i wanted to do a bunch of sheet pan pancakes i'm going to mix up my large family size batch of homemade pancake batter but i might save like half of it for when everyone else gets home in a few days uh or or I might just go ahead and make extra sheet pan pancakes and we'll use them. That's the thing. I never make so much to where we don't use it. <laughs> so here we go with the sheet pan pancakes. Oh, also, if you're new here, my name is Jay Morell. Welcome to Large Family Table. I only know Mega and Lots, and I, my heart is to help you feed all your people, so let's feed all my people breakfast now. So we may end up using our immersion blender today, Amelia. I've used this for soups, but we may have a hand at mixing up large family pancakes with our immersion blender. We rarely lose those mixer legs, but what we'll do, we'll keep our eyes open for it, and I bet you it's gonna turn up in a day or two, but we'll just give it a go with the immersion blender. It'll work. Another thing going on is I don't have any sugar, like real sugar, but what I do have is I have a whole bunch of powdered sugar left from Christmas time and doing all those gingerbread houses and homemade icing and such. So you can use powdered sugar to replace granulated sugar. I mean, that's, that's what powdered sugar is, just crunched up even more. So we're gonna be using that in some different things we're doing today too. Okay, and I have to actually quickly wash a bowl that I used yesterday to put our pizza dough in. Yeah. So what we're gonna do, it is preheating now, but the temperature when we turned it on was 350, so start hitting that button up and see what happens. This? Yes, this button. Keep going, see those numbers? We're gonna get it to 425 which is 425, keep going, 385, 390, yay, 425. So now it'll preheat the oven to that temperature, and that's the temperature we need for our pancakes. Yes, and it added more time because when we when I first had you hit the button, it was only for 350. Okay, so it's going to be for 425, and we will get, oh, giant, mega giant, yay. And also, let's see, I got messes up here. Hello, messes. I also have some parchment paper. If I have enough parchment paper left, we will line our baking sheet nice and proper with parchment paper. Um, makes for easy cleanup. I think we have enough. If not, I've also just sprayed it and it's worked out fine. Parchment paper is an added bonus. Okay, it's gonna be lots of fun because we get to crack a lot of eggs for these pancakes. Ooh. I think we're ready. I would usually put cinnamon in this too. I don't have any cinnamon. So what we have is we have all-purpose flour, we have salt, we have baking powder, we have eggs, we have powdered sugar. So the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna put in 12 cups of flour. So Amelia is going to start there. Good job, Liam. Sit down. Gabriel's bringing us milk, and we're going to all take turns. Are you ready? Now, also, I, uh, yet again, proving I'm just a mom cooking in my kitchen. I don't do anything right ever. Um, I don't care a thing about wet cups and dry cups when it comes to measuring. This cup that I'm about to use is technically, I know now, a wet cup but I have been using this measuring uh, container. <laughs> I've been using this for like 15 years or so. It served me well. So we're gonna put in 12 cups total of flour. So that's four. I'll put that in. Oh, and that's perfect because each of you, I've got Amelia, Liam, and Daniel helping me. Each of you can pour some in. Okay, there's Amelia's. So we got four plus four and that is? Eight, 
eight. eight. Eight, yes, exactly. Daniel, pour in that, and there we go. We got 12 cups. Okay, next up, and I know it's a lot, half a cup of baking powder, but then again, we only know mega and lots. I am doing a homemade pancake batter, which obviously it takes a little longer, but it's fun for kids to put in. You can use any pancake batter to make sheet pan pancakes. You can use Bisquick to make sheet pan pancakes. I'm just using what I have, that's what we do. Okay, so Daniel, you put in, this is again, half a cup of baking powder, put that in for me. Okay, we're gonna put in now two and a half tablespoons of salt. Okay, and Amelia's gonna do this one. You can do the next thing, Liam. So there's one. Good. And here's two. Two. I'm gently mixing all of these dry ingredients together. And then we're gonna add in our wet. Some people add everything that's wet in a separate bowl and everything that's dry in another bowl. And then they mix them all together. That way your baking powder and everything that's dry gets mixed well, but mommy doesn't always do that. We know this. So we're gonna let Liam do the sugar, okay. and then, then everybody's gonna do the eggs. This is teamwork making the dream work. And I've looked up the equivalents for using powdered sugar in place of granulated sugar, and unless you get into even larger amounts, it didn't make much of a difference. It's cup for cup at this point. So we are doing one full cup you could also use stevia, use something else. Good. And then Liam, you can gently just stir that around a little bit. Good job. Okay, and then here's another for Liam. Yep. Two, two four, six, six eight, eight, ten, ten twelve. twelve. You see how we did that, Daniel? It's mm -hmm. called skip counting. Liam, go get us three paper plates. And that way each of you can have four eggs. Of course, we are dragging this out, making it more complicated than it needs to be. A mama can mix this up fast, quick, and in a hurry. But whenever you take time to do it with your kids, it takes longer, but there can be lots of learning involved. Work on cracking your eggs. Good, and then let it drip, and then put your shell. Now hold it over the bowl, stick your thumbs in it, and spread it. Oh, and drop it in the flour. No, mama dropped it. Okay, come over here. Put your thumbs in it and spread it apart. You wanna watch mama do it? We got it? Perfect, now spread. See, we don't wanna get the shell in. Good job, Daniel. With this, many times, like if I'm doing chocolate chip pancakes or blueberry pancakes or throwing some applesauce in there, I would add four cups of whatever else it is that I'm adding in at this time. We do have some bananas. I thought of some different flavors we could do them this time. What we are going to sprinkle at least one of these sheet pan pancakes with is I have a little over a cup of sugar-free dark chocolate chips. That's what I got. So this is what we're gonna sprinkle our pancakes with. But I'm not gonna put it in the batter right now. I just think it's pretty to sprinkle it with this type of pancake on the top. Okay, okay, we need milk. We're gonna do four cups again, and everybody gets a turn pouring it in. 12 cups total. We have three children. Each child is gonna pour in four cups. I'm letting go, you pour it in. Good job, Daniel. Okay, Liam, you ready? Good, so we've got four plus four more. How many cups have we put in? Eight. Eight, and now Amelia is gonna put in four more. It's Woo! Like, it's like a flood. It is like a flood, good job. It's probably gonna take us a little longer with this little immersion blender again. Great for soups, but we're gonna just take turns and use it for what we're doing. So I think I have to keep it held. Okay, this is even faster. Woo! Mm. It's doing it. It may spray you a little. I may have to use the next one now. So I'm gonna give it a mama mix, and then it's gonna be your turn. With this, you are gonna to have to hold the button when it's your turn. Okay, isn't that gonna be fun? You get to push a button. Do not lift it up in the air with the button pushed while you're mixing. That will paint our walls with pancake batter. Okay, and we want to actually get some sheet pan pancakes out of this deal, don't we? I'll so we don't, a new paint job. we don't need a new paint job. So hold it, and then can you push a button too? You might need to push a button with your other hand. Let's try that. Hold it, and then with this hand, what? Push one button. Whoa! Wow, Benjamin, keep going. Let's go. Okay. Good. 
Okay, no, this looks no. pretty thin to me. And I'm sure it's because I haven't added any extra toppings into it. So I'm gonna actually add, I'm gonna start with two more cups of flour, okay? And then we'll go from there. want them on the pancakes too. Look, I just, oh, I just put one on there. So sprinkle it on, here you go, Amelia. doing those chocolate chips. My inspiration has landed. That's how lots of my cooking goes to where I am gonna do another big sheet pan of these pancakes and see how far we get with my large from the pancake recipe doing sheet, sheet, pa sheet cake pancakes with it. I'm sure over the next few days this will get eaten. I'm sure it will not be a problem. stainless steel pan, totally normal size. So if we're gonna convert my large family recipe to normal size, this recipe will make probably six normal size sheet pans full because I've done two super mega and then this regular size. Now, if you wanna know my exact sheet pans and the sizes, I will have those. Just look down in the description below under where it says show more and I will have the recipes, I will have the sheet pans, I will have the variations, will all be there for you. Since I am filming with kids and in my real kitchen Mommy. in the middle of real life, Mommy. or giving Benjamin a banana Mommy. or whatever, you've got some chocolate yeah, chips, you're good. Sometimes I'll forget to say a step or I'll leave something out or I don't know, it's just not quite, not quite right and proper how a, a cooking show should be. Always in the description will be everything when I can think it out without a kiddo in my ear or under my armpit, then I have everything written out for you there. Okay, so two full sheets, one half sheet of sheet pan pancakes. Now they'll go in the oven. So here is a look at the total that our super Please. mega recipe made. Benjamin is about done with all of this cooking. So we've got two full size sheets. Amelia's just tossing little chocolate chips on here now. Daniel is collecting them and eating them, and then we've got a half sheet. So I put those in the oven at 425 for 20 minutes. However, at 20 minutes, I'm going to check them. I've been asked recently, since I've been sharing some more fun sheet pan things, um, just some mamas have said that what they do, and I think this is an awesome suggestion, they set a timer, and halfway through the time, they'll switch out their sheet pans. And that's glorious because then both pans get done at the same time, awesome. What I usually end up doing is at the end of the time, I take one pan out and then I'll move the bottom pan up for about 10 minutes or so. It just depends on, you know, the time and the day, what else I'm doing. Right now I have some soup that I wanna get bulk cooked that I'm getting going. And then I have some dishes that I wanna stay on top of. And then we'll be eating these sheet pan pancakes. So several things going on. Like like all mamas, we always have stuff going on. But I wanted to give you that tip that I've read several times in the comments is mamas just switch the pans halfway through. That's awesome, do that. And then if you forget, just move the bottom pan to the top for like 10 more minutes when you're done. Still works out all good at the end. Sir 
Benjamin the first sheet pan pancake because he just could not wait. But let me take this over and show you how beautiful it is. Look, you can see, I think you should be able to see those edges very well. It's a beautiful, it's a beautiful, beautiful thing. Smells good. We need smell vision So what I'm going to do to make this an extra fun party is I'm putting a little bit of powdered sugar. Oh, yes, I am. Kid party. And then we're going to put a little bit of syrup. And then everybody is going to love this. And then we're going to get back outside before it really starts to rain. So this is the full sheet pan. And this is the reality. Oh, yeah, Benjamin. Woo, woo, woo. Everyone's feeling the sugar. So, this is what is left. Don't pick chocolate chips out, buddy. You got a few chocolate chips on your plate. This is what's left. And then out of the oven, I just pulled this one, and then we have the half sheet. So as these cool, I will slice them up and bag them, and we'll have them for the coming days. I know they're gonna be gone, as I always say, fast, quick, and in a hurry. And as far as cleanup, I'm putting, packing these into some other bowls, but you see, when you have enough parchment paper, it makes cleanup super easy. I hope you had a fun time baking with us this morning. We are now gonna actually get outside and play in the rain, because it's a warm rain, it's gentle. As always, the full directions and recipe to make these easy sheet pan pancakes will be down in the description below. And if you want to watch more of my super mega large family cooking, right here are my top three large family cooking videos. Keep on watching. Talk with you in those comments below. Bye-bye.